Welcome to the introduction to Intel FPGA Programmable Acceleration Card N3000. This Programmable Acceleration Card, or PAC in short, is an FPGA-based SmartNIC that targets networking workloads. My name is Cindy Goh, and I'm the Product Line Manager for this PAC platform. In this training, I will walk you through the basics of this product, its targeted use cases, and highlight the robust ecosystem that's supporting this accelerator platform. Over the years, the telecommunications industry has shown significant transformation. We've come a long way from 2G applications that focused on voice communications to 3G, which started the data and apps revolution. 4G then came knocking on our doors with faster data delivery and increased data usage. We are now in the 5G era, where 5G is not only driven by voice and data communications, but also by ultra-reliability and low-latency communications, or URLLC, which will address critical needs communications and massive machine-type communications to address IoT-like applications. Due to the proliferation and increased use cases going into 5G, comms service providers require agility, scalability, and intelligence across network, cloud, and client. The challenge that service providers are facing is twofold. The first being the massive increase in data-driven transformation, both at the edge and cloud, for use cases such as video streaming, augmented reality, virtual reality, and autonomous driving. And secondly, the demand to support new 5G applications, all while competing to maintain user cost. If service providers do not upgrade their architectures, we will continue to see this trend shown on this chart, where data traffic and revenue generation is decoupled. Comms service providers must upgrade their architectures to meet 5G network demands, and they must find a way to add new revenue-generating services while maintaining the OPEX and CAPEX efficiency and economies of scale. Intel offers a host of networking solutions to help comms service providers deploy their 5G networks. Intel offers Xeon scalable processors for compute, 710 NIC family for connectivity, and open source software for packet processing. With the addition of the new customizable FPGA pack, we leverage open source software such as PDK and Open Programmable Acceleration Engine, or OPAE, along with orchestration software optimized to support this FPGA SmartNIC platform. The PAC N3000 for networking accelerates multiple workloads that we'll cover in the next slide. A key advantage is now with the Intel FPGA PAC N3000, our customers have access to a customizable hardware industry standard tools that developers are familiar with as part of Intel's overall networking solution portfolio. The telecommunications industry has started using PAC-N3000 to accelerate 5G network functions from radio access network to edge to core. On the RAN side, the PAC-N3000 is used to perform forward error correction or FEC acceleration and front hall function. Here, the PAC-N3000 will first be used for performing look-aside FEC acceleration, and later the same FPGA will enable inline front hall compression. The same hardware can also be used to support different types of 5G network functions, such as one 5G edge and core. At the 5G edge and core, this platform is used to support NFE infrastructure, or NFVI, virtual network function, or VNF, data plane and security applications. Specifically for NFVI, FPGA on the PAC N3000 platform is used to accelerate virtual switch, vRouter, and vert IO to reduce host CPU loading. For 5G core network VNF data plane, FPGA complements Xeon well by inline accelerating computational intensive functions such as hierarchical quality of service, load balancing, and other functions. This improves VNF throughput and power efficiency, reduces latency, and allows comms service providers to scale deployment. For 5G security, top-tier TIMs such as F5 networks and others are using PAC-N3000 to perform inline acceleration on crypto functions for IPsec and SSL traffic, as well as virtual file firewall functions such as DDoS mitigation. Now let's discuss the specifics of the PAC N3000 platform. 
It is a half-length, full-height PCIe form factor card that features hardware capabilities enabling up to 100 gig of network traffic with low latency and high bandwidth memory. And most importantly, it features a large over 1 million logic element Intel ARIA 10 FPGA for highest flexibility in accelerating networking workloads. This platform has two integrated Intel 710 NICs that intelligently offloads network packet processing tasks to the FPGA. We use an Intel Max 10 FPGA to serve as the Baseboard Management Controller, or BMC. The Intel Max 10 BMC is responsible for controlling, monitoring, and granting access to board features. The Intel Max 10 BMC monitors the telemetry data and reports this telemetry data to host BMC via PLDM over MCTP, SMBus, or i 2 The Max 10 BMC also acts as root of trust and enables secure remote system update feature on the Pack N3000. Here's another look at the different building blocks within an Intel FPGA Pack N3000. There are components within the platform in which Intel provides the software and firmware for, specifically the Max 10 RTL image and Max 10 NEOS firmware, XL710 firmware, ARIA 10 FPGA factory image, and ARIA 10 NEOS firmware. The users of the Pack N3000 platform can program the Pack N3000 to run a number of user workloads. These workloads can either be designed in-house by the user or can be licensed or sourced by ISVs and TEMs that have developed user workloads on the Pack N3000. Some of these user workloads include VRAN workloads such as LDPC and TurboFEC plus front hall functions, NFVI workloads such as OVS, SRV6, and Contrail, and they can also be other VNF applications like Virtual Firewall and VBNG. You can find a list of partner workloads that are supported on the Pack N3000 on Intel.com. Since the introduction of Pack N3000, many ecosystem partners have adopted the Pack N3000 and developed solutions that run on it. We have ISVs and TEMs such as LTOSTAR, HCL, F5 Networks, Juniper, and others shown here offering networking solutions across VRAN, NFVI, and other VNF acceleration applications running on Pack N3000. Some of these workloads are currently available for commercial deployment, and we have more solutions planned on our roadmap. The Pack N3000 is also widely being qualified in OEM servers by lead OEMs such as Dell, HPE, Supermicro, Fujitsu, Quanta, and others. Comms service providers and system integrators are able to purchase service systems, including the Pack N3000, at an option via these OEM partners. To package up the complete hardware and software solution, we partner with system integrators such as Worldwide Technology, HCL, and Tech Mahindra to enable scale while bringing complete networking solutions to market. There are two main variants of the Pack N3000 platform. We have the standard N3000 and a NEPS friendly variant, which is suitable for systems that require NEPS compliance. The standard N3000 variant comes with two standard SKUs, a BDNFV N3000-1 SKU for 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity, and also a BDNVV N3000-2 SKU for 25 gigabit ethernet connectivity. Then we have one SKU from the NEPS friendly variant, and this SKU is BDNBV N3000 3, and this SKU provides 25 gigabit e connectivity in a thermally enhanced hardware. In summary, the Intel FPGA Pack N3000 is designed for comms service providers to enable 5G radio access network and 5G next generation core solutions. Pack N3000 is tailored for high throughput, low latency, and high bandwidth applications. The hardware features that we discuss in this training, coupled with support for end-to-end -end industry standard open source tools, is enabling Intel with our partner ecosystem to solve the service provider challenges. Learn more about Intel FPGA Pack N3000 and the solutions by our rich ecosystem partners on our webpage, intel.com/packn3000. Thank you for watching this training.